In this video, I want to show you a simple debugging session in Ruby and Steel. I'm going to put a breakpoint here. This is a simple adventure game I've written on the loop that processes input from the user. And let's go into another file. I'll put a breakpoint, I think, here, uh, which is where the player is moved around as the game progresses. Now to debug it, I'm using the st standard Visual Studio debugging keystrokes. I begin it by pressing F5. Uh, you can see the Ruby console is where my docked input-output console uh, appears. So I just navigate through the adventure game. I try going into the south room, entering south. I hit a, a breakpoint immediately on process input. Now I can step into that method, the process input method, by pressing F11. Okay, so now I'm in, in that method. There's nothing very interesting here, so I'll press F5 to continue. Now I'm on my other breakpoint. Uh, I can progress through this by stepping one line at a time, F10, and so on. Now let's have a look at some of the de debugging windows. This is the call stack, and you can see this lets me navigate calls that have been made up to this point in the execution. Uh, there are other windows. The watch window is a very important one where I can drag in some, for example, some uh, variables, some objects to examine them. And I can drill down to look inside. There's also the locals window, which automatically shows me the local variables that are in scope. And I can hover over variables in the editor itself, and I can drill down in these. So that's a quick look at some of the features of the Ruby in Steel debugger for Ruby. For more information and tutorials on Ruby and Steel 2, the Ruby and Rails IDE for Visual Studio 2010, go to Sapphire Steel Software at www.sapphiresteel.com.